there, it's Peachy! I'm back with another bunny vlog! I hope it brightens up your weekend a little bit. So I got the bunnies this little uh, weave toy to film while I'm talking for the vlog so they can be extra cute and enjoy a new toy. This is going to be a shorter bunny vlog um, just because not much has happened uh, from my last vlog which was in September and it's mid-November now. Um, except in October it was both National Pudding Day and then a week or so later National Pumpkin Day. So Pudding and Pumpkin got to celebrate each day. I thought it was a good excuse to give them a, a fancy treat each, you know, a, a little bit of a bigger treat than they would normally have. Um, and so I will link uh, to each of those special videos here and I'll put the links in the description below as well in case you can't see them. Now I'm going to keep this a positive video because both the bunnies are happy and well and I want people to be happy on the weekend but I will say like we had some struggles with bunnies earlier. Um, I accidentally trimmed Pumpkin's claw too far when I was trimming her claws one time and I got blood and I was freaking out apparently it wasn't a big deal but i was right to take him into the vets to seal it up um so okay uh that made me panic for a bit but it's apparently it's gonna happen when you have a pet that needs claws trims at least once like all my friends were comforting me saying it's gonna happen at least once when you have a pet like that um but it was my first time i'd never done that with my first rabbit so I was like oh but pumpkin was putting up such a fuss and pulling her leg back I was like wow then poor pudding had GI stasis again that's quite extreme for her to have it twice in a year um she had gas pain as well poor thing so like she wasn't being able to sit down properly because it was so painful so she kept sitting down and then like a second later getting back up that's a big sign so of course we rushed her to the vet at first we thought it was dehydration that we'd noticed she'd barely drunk much water that day then now we're just realizing of course it's she's shedding her summer coat and we hadn't thought about that because it wasn't noticeable when she shedded her massive winter coat in march that was the reason she got GI stasis because she was ingesting so much of it um i don't know if you know from a previous video i've mentioned that rabbits can't cough up hairballs of vomit so if they ingest a lot of fur clogs up the stomach and that can like kill them very quickly it's a very serious issue of rabbits stomachs clogged up um, it's a rabbit emergency, like that's just how their bodies work. So stasis is like a major killer in rabbits, so you have to treat it like an emergency. I feel like I was not like expecting this to happen to pudding again in less than a year since we had her. And then of course I realized it's because of her fur. She is a fluffy, fluffy bunny compared to pumpkin who's short haired. Pudding has very different fur. Um, it's like halfway between short hair and angora, I'd say, like it needs extra attention. That's what we've learned. So even though it didn't look like she was shedding her lighter summer coat, it was very likely that she was and we weren't noticing. So I've been grooming her more thoroughly lately, like two, three times a day again, like we did in her shed in March. And a bit is coming off and I'm sure what was happening was when she got stasis, more of it was coming off and now she's got the end of her shed. Um, so yeah, learning experience. Pudding is a fluffy bunny and needs to be treated with caution um, because she's fragile and so skeptical to getting this. So, you know, fluffy bunnies are more at risk of developing stasis and complications from ingesting the fur because she preens herself. She's a girly girly bunny. She preens herself way more than pumpkin. And can you imagine if bunny preening herself constantly with that much fluff? That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> but yeah. Positive note, she's fine, she recovered very quickly, she was given the usual ranitidine which had to be orally syringed into her mouth, couldn't be mixed in food, she had to be given it through syringe, hated that, growled and thumped, but she would always lick me and binky and dance and follow me around as usual, so she was so forgiving, it was so sweet, I couldn't believe how forgiving she was for like a week and a half where she had to be given ranitidine. Um, she didn't have to be on painkillers for too long, her gas pain went away within about two days, which was good. But oh my goodness, please, if you have rabbits, please, you need pet insurance. This stuff always happens out of hours. And out of hours cost to take them to emergency vets is crazy high. Um, pet insurance will cover this for you. Like, you still have to pay a wee chunk of the cost. But my goodness, nothing compared to what it would have been. Um, if you didn't have pet insurance, so please, it's absolutely must of rabbits. Pretty much any health condition with a rabbit is an emergency because they're so fragile. And once they're in pain or sick, they don't eat as much or they refuse to eat. And that's when their stomach stops working. And that's where the stasis begins. So 
yeah, rarely is a rabbit hell condition something you can leave to the next day. You just take them immediately and you're saving yourself extra stress along the way. Um, but yeah, the bunnies are ready for Christmas now, so I'm excited to spoil them because it'll be their first time having Christmas with us. So I'm gonna try and get them little stockings and put little treats inside. I don't know, something cute, not too much because obviously they can't have all their stuff on Christmas Day, otherwise they'll get sick. But it'd be fun to spoil them and it's our first Christmas together as a couple in our own place, me and my partner, so it'd be nice to just have us as a little weird fluffy family. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I don't think we'll get a real Christmas tree because I'm pretty sure the needles would just be asking for trouble with the buns and it'll be messy anyway so as much as we'd like a real Christmas tree, uh, safety of the buns comes first and cleanliness of the carpet potentially second. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the bunnies, uh, nothing else really to pour except they've got an extra litter box now and that's made less mess in the pen and they don't poop on the pen floor as much which is great so it's actually cleaner in the pen now. They never had an issue pooping outside the pen but they would do it a lot in the pen. I think that was them hinting they each wanted their own litter box so they've got one each now and that's made them very happy. Um, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about the bunnies this time. Um, sorry I had to say that like, <laughs> Pudding had another issue of stasis, but again it's a learning experience. There's such a difference between, um, you know, the 12 years from when I had my first rabbit that you can only learn so much from reading about rabbit care. It, the next learning experience is having the rabbits, um, you learn through them. <laughs> sorry, I like how Pumpkin has decided to chew the tunnel instead of the ball now, like that's more yummy obviously. So. Yeah, we, we know that next year will be a quieter year, bunny health-wise, and we just make mistakes, and it's part of the learning experience. We know they're very much loved, they're very happy, they're on the right, correct diet. Um, so, you know, we're doing the best we can, but we've had flaws and <laughs> moments where we could have done something a bit better, and we're not pros, but hopefully in a few years' time we will be pros. So, yeah, until next time, guys, uh, the bunnies and I will see you later. Bye-bye! Pumpkin, what are you doing? Now for a bonus sleep buddy montage!